Hey guys, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. It's a rainy day here in Tokyo, but today we are visiting Ueno in the Ameya Yokocho Street. Ame Yoko for short, actually, and it's a very popular and very historical shopping street here. It's actually a weekday and it's rainy, so I'm hoping that we can avoid the crowds. Uh, the street shouldn't be as crowded as it usually is, and I'm hoping that we can get some really amazing street food. This is really fine. So for a thousand yen, they'll stuff a bag full of different chocolates. You don't get to choose the chocolates, but you get a whole variety of different things. That's pretty awesome. Let's try it. I've never done this before. Okay, done. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a whole bag full of chocolate. That is really fun. I've never, I've never bought chocolate like this before. I've only ever gotten them at like a convenience store or something. Here we are now at a Korean hot dog shop. You would think that uh, Ueno is all traditional old school shops, but clearly there's a mix of modern in here as well. And uh, the trend of Korean hot dogs also comes to Japan. I would really like to try one, so I'm going to get one of these potato lera. That looks incredible. Korean cheese hot dog. Uh -huh. Melty, gooey mozzarella cheese. So much cheesy goodness packed into a delicious fried hot dog. I love the atmosphere of these streets. People drinking out on the streets, outdoor style. Am I reading that right? It says Wagyu Menchikatsu. And A5 rank Wagyu. For only 400 yen, that's only about $4 for a grade A5 Wagyu beef menchikatsu. I think I'm definitely gonna need to try this. This is not something you come across every day. Menchikatsu minced meat cutlets. They're usually your typical run of the mill beef, uh, sometimes pork cutlets, but Wagyu beef, never. I've never seen that before. Let's give it a try. All right. I got my Wagyu Menchikatsu minced cutlet, minced beef cutlet. Look at that. Lightly breaded, you can see there's some sauce, it's just oozing flavor. I'm really excited to try this. Sasuku, I'm going to jump in and take a bite. Look at all that meat in there. Mmm. That is so meaty. Um, I can't really say that I can taste the difference between a, a Wagyu cutlet and a regular beef cutlet, but the taste is really rich. It's got a whole lot of flavor jam-packed in there. Um, you can taste a little bit of possibly onions mixed in, and the, the breaded panko on the outside is really well, well fried and gives it a nice crisp and bite to it. You can see it's not just Japanese food here on Amiyoko Street. Just walking down the street, you can find Chinese food and all kinds of different foods. So I'm here to get some shodonpo. A little bit of everything for everyone. All right. I'm going to open this up. And I guess we pour this in here. Oh, a little bit. Too much, but it's okay. This was really fast. Uh, I ordered this. I sat down, ordered this. It took about 
a minute. <laughs> and it's already ready to go. Chinese fast food. It's so good! The meat is so juicy, there's soup oozing out of the meat as you can see here. Ooh, really delicious and the, the, the skin around it is super, super chewy. It's not a thin, it's not a thin skin, it's really chewy and mochi mochi. And I think the bottom of it, if I can get a bite, mm, is nice and crispy on the bottom. Beautiful blend of textures. I just found another standing drinking bar on the street. It specializes in Japanese sake, and you can get assorted sashimi that goes with sake for only ten dollars, only one thousand yen. I think this is worth a try. Oh, she's so. Oh, <laughs> right to the brim. Oh, that's so good. I really like um, sweet, slightly fruity sakes, and this one definitely is a little bit fruity. It's very easy to drink. Not not sharp or bitter at all. And this would go really well with some sashimi. Yeah, Chives, wasabi, and a thick cut of toro tuna. Itadakimasu. Mmm! Mmm! There's a lot of flavor in that tuna. So much, like so much fat is just oozing into my mouth. Sounds a little weird, but it's really bringing out the flavor of the tuna meat. It's fantastic. It's so juicy. So much flavor. Let's try with some sake. That's a good combination. Sake and sashimi. This is the way that the local Japanese people do it. I have had so much to eat right now. I've tried all the different things down the street that you can try pretty much. I think it's about time for some dessert. So I've just come across some traditional Japanese shaved ice. Take a look over here. I'm gonna get one of these green tea flavored ones. It is Kyoto Uji green tea flavored with some azuki red beans. I think that looks amazing. dig right into this much of it right here. Oh, oh, it's so flaky. It's so flaky, I'm dropping some. Let's try just the matcha. Oh, it's so good. As soon as you take a bite, it melts into your, it melts in your mouth into like a puddle of green tea. You get a, a, a lot of green tea flavor. It's just ever so slightly bitter. It really tastes like you're drinking a cup of matcha, but cold. It is refreshing and delicious. Oh, I'm absolutely stuffed. I've had all of the food that you could possibly eat here in Amiyoko, and it was all just incredible. In particular, the A5 Wagyu beef uh, menshikatsu was just to die for. The dumplings were also amazing, and the sashimi with the sake, that was also a really, really good deal, so I recommend you try that. One of the things I thought was just really, really impressive about Amiyoko in general is how personable all of the shop staff are. Um, they're all really friendly. You can just chat them up, and they'll talk with you. Uh, I think you can even haggle with them and uh, even if you sat down at an izakaya I think the people who are sitting next to you would just be very happy to chat with you too so you know what I totally recommend Amiyoko it's a great place to visit and if you guys are interested in having any street food yourself uh, you can actually join a tour and you can find them all in uh, buyfood.com in the link down below if you'd like to really experience authentic Japan sign up for a tour and uh, you can get all of the best food in Tokyo I guarantee it anyway uh, I'm not done exploring Amiyoko so I'm going to head down that street and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!